are you excited? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the first Parasite Eve session. Holy shit, this game is incredible. I love this game. Um, I played this long after release. I think the first time I played this would have been 2001, 2002-ish. Uh, well after release. It was technically already an old game by then. Um, I never finished it. I got right to the end. It was a rental. I got right to the end. I got stuck on the last boss, and I had to return the game before I could... Uh before I could um before I could finish it and you know because I was a kid in high school I didn't have the money to just rent it again I've always said I was going to go back to it at some point I've started it a number of times over the years but um, I just never got around to finishing it so I'm checking my audio levels while I'm talking um and so what where this came about was uh Squeenix's E3 conference uh, when they announced Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, I said, uh, Oh, man, now give me Parasite VIII Remastered. And Matt, who was uh, who was helping me out, who was on those conferences, and he was like, uh, Hey, I never played Parasite VIII. And I said, God damn it, now we have to stream Parasite VIII. So this is for you, Matt, and also for me, because I just fucking love Parasite VIII. I have almost streamed this so many times. Ah, oh, so many times. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to put my mic right there. Gonna open my delicious Gatorade. We're gonna fucking do it. New game. game should look pretty good in the overlay. There may be some instances where there are black bars. By the way, I noticed that the game resolution changes sometimes, but I based this off some gameplay a few hours in, so it should fit the overlay pretty well. This game exists, but I have literally no knowledge of anything about it. Well, you can learn about it with me. What's up, Johnny? This was, I thought this was between 7 and 8, but this was actually released the month before Final Fantasy 7. Um, but later releases came with a Final Fantasy 8 demo, so that's probably what I'm thinking of. Um, and this is built on a prototype engine for either Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 8. I think 7 given how close it released to 7. I think I've had some numbers mixed up over the last few days when I talked about this. But the game is reportedly built on a prototype engine for a Final Fantasy game that they decided didn't fit for Final Fantasy, but spun off into its own thing. Parasite Eve itself is a 1995 Japanese horror novel. No, this is not a Final Fantasy game, but this is by Squaresoft. This was right before... This was developed alongside 7, because they released like a month apart. So they would have been developed side by side. Um, Parasite Eve itself is originally a 1995 Japanese horror novel. This is a pseudo-sequel. There are references to things that happen in the book, and this is a sequel, but you don't need to have read the book. Uh, what's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Aya Bria, 25, NYPD officer. We're just going to leave her name to Aya. Ain't changing that. Ain't changing that. I don't know. I just... You're right. I'll, I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. 
So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. I'm just going to leave. No, it won't let me leave. It would be incredible if the game just let you like leave and gave you a game over. Enjoy the show. Please take your seats. The show's about to start. Am I supposed to talk to him? Oh, he just, okay, he teleported inside. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get to our seats. They've already started the first act. Already? Sitting like this weird kid, kitty corner angle. Just okay, there we go. Oh my God, they've already started the first act. Ah. Ooh, these PlayStation graphics. Yes, sir. Christopher. In an actual theater, they wouldn't let you in until intermission. Well. I'd be interested to see what Mike thinks about this game, actually, because I feel like this is the antithesis of a Mike game, but uh, I also feel like it's just weird enough to catch his interest. I forbid it! You know well what will happen if you do! Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways! You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil! God, grab her! And burn her at the stake! Ooh, stake. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Paris, I re remastered de remasters definitely in the next one. I don't know about that because of the novel connection. They don't actually own the licensing rights to Parasite Eve anymore. Um, that's why it's, there's two sequels to this, but the third one is just called The Third Birthday, and it was an attempt to rebrand, like, they own Aya Bria, but they don't own Parasite Eve. So, you know. Anyways, let's enjoy this beautiful PlayStation CD. remastered I'd want to see like this whole like I'd want to see the, the videos redone because like this was super impressive in 1997 it's still super impressive like from a direction standpoint but graphically it has uh yeah and with all these graphics yeah I know this was like everyone talked about the intro to this game when this came out this was a huge fucking deal ah Jesus, I don't want to... Oh, my God. I, I... Go. Get out of here now. Fuck off, shit lord. Oh, he is the best. Oh, he is the best. How did they survive? I guess you'll have to pay attention to the game. Freeze! NYPD! Hmm. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. 
What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. Jurassic Park stuff. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? What is this? Oh, PlayStation elbows. That's what I remember the most. <laughs> Them PS1 elbows. What was that? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Damn! I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Oh, wait, are you supposed to... No, no, no. Let me check it out. I think I have something else. I was thinking you could say forget it and go stock up before you go down here, but it's the other way around. Of course you jump down. Look what a fucking badass AA is. Look at those fucking heels, and she just dropped down like nothing. Look at those fucking 90s heels. Her ankles just shattered. That girl, it couldn't be. Anime ankles of steel. Good graphics of the time. This this game scared the shit out of me the first time I played it. 
It's fucking creepy. Close enough. Yay, I got an item. I got bullets. We'll look more at the UI and stuff later. Once we get uh, some more stuff to look at. Think something's wrong with that rat. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What's going on here? Bodies. I'm from New York, and I can tell you that's <laughs> the no, that's just a normal rat. Ah, fucking New York sewer rats. All right, two meats. Drugs. God, you're still alive. Hang on, let me open this locker. Nothing. Okay. Hey, buddy, what's up? You're still alive. Hold on, let me call the paramedics. Melissa. She's a monster. Don't try to talk now. Melissa? Melissa, you mean the main actress? She probably got to Suzanne, too. You'll have to stop her. No! Please wake up. Hang in there. That dude is like just charred flesh. Like let her, her. That lady is just charred flesh. Why am I reading every line? That's what I did for the other RPGs. Shoot it. I've seen Hellraiser. You need to feed them blood to heal them. Ah, oh, no. Not saying it's bad, I was just curious. Yeah, there's no voice acting in this game. Uh, it's with the ones that didn't have voice acting, I read them last time. Uh, ah, here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. Oh, you're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya! Oh god, the clown. Can you... Nice loose, keep going, Chris. One more, one more fucking clown to worry about. Oh, I got a crit on that rat. And those rats had 12 bullets on them. It's a good number of bullets. Another meat. that clown from the dressing room. Fate took care of the clown. Is he holding something I had to pick up? No. No, I know where it is. I did replay like the first 20 minutes of this uh, the other night while making sure everything was set up correctly. Gator rats are the true heroes of the story. They ate the clown. No, the Clown got set on fire. It's locked. It's locked. The clown got burninated. Oh! And now it's time. I'd better notify the department about what's happened here. Save hype! I do love that your save system in this game is calling the department to make a report about what the fuck just happened. Hey, Chief, some bullshit went down. Anyways, if I die, just wake me up at this call recording. Drugs. A parrot. 
Hot, hot, help, help. Oh, no. I didn't want to say no. I wanted to say that. I thought I could talk to the parrot. Ask the parrot what happened. The parrot! What happened? I'm just gonna step in this corpse. What's this key? Chief, a woman is singing people on fire, and there's a giant mutant rats and clown. Shoot the clown! I got a key. Maybe back to the other room and check the uh, lockers too. Hey, pair. Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Oh yeah, this takes place around Christmas, I think. I haven't been reloading. I do have an fuck that bird up. I, I, you do have an ammo system. I haven't been reloading, but. Oh, some bullets. Thank God theater people are known for keeping bullets in the closet. That's another thing. Diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. Don't tell oh. Stella I'm the new best friend. Oh, Mike with the hundred biddies. Overtaking Stella is my best friend. Ah. Uh. The stream level's running to that a lot there? Yeah, cool. Thank you, Mike, for the hundred biddies. Party indeed. By the way, uh, I see in Discord where Matt has picked up his copy of Monopoly. So we're just waiting on Mike and Jesse, and we're going to have a big Monopoly party, and then all our friendships will end. Also, Risk is on that set that Matt and I picked up. So, you know, uh, my body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I better take more medicine. December, December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd better take a lot of medication tonight. I guess I'm buying another digital copy of fucking Monopoly. Uh, no, get the physical one that Matt and I got. Uh, it's like 20 bucks at Walmart, which is the same cost as Monopoly by itself, but the physical copy also has Risk and Trivial Pursuit on it. Uh, December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. Never playing Risk with Meg. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the lead. I'd better take more medication and work it. December 23rd, Tuesday. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I'd better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key?
Let's check these lockers. I can't remember if there's anything actually in them. Oh, bullets! Bullets are such a valuable commodity in this game later on. Shot those rats in the back. Wait, that was the one. God damn it. All right, meat's still here. Moving on. getting experience, right? And a surplus of ammo. Okay, this is actually totally worth it. Alright, so... Down. So there we go. Need to go through these doors next. Defense plus one! And, oh, look at this. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. Oh, look, a hidden room. What are the odds? Look, a way better armor piece. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna cheat a little bit with my advanced knowledge of this game and tell you guys that you can slot the defense pieces into armor put it in the in protector. Then we're gonna put that puppy on. Uh, let's also go ahead and, uh, yeah. Reload my gun real quick while I'm here. There we go. Got it so 1998. Hey, 1997, sir. Level up! Parasite powers have evolved. Scan analyzes enemies' HP and weaknesses. Also, bullets and drugs. Bullets and drugs! The two food groups. What are you up to, Andy? How you doing tonight, buddy? Do 
there's anything to go here. Thank you. No random encounters. I'm Melissa. I'm... No, I'm... I... I am... I am... Eve. I'm... I'm getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? Once again, the day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Cool. Gotcha. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. Fine, Andy. 1998. But it's set in 1997, so eat a dirk. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... Is that you clearing your throat for all the dirk you're gonna eat? Andy? Yeah. Doctor, wait. Mitochondria to be free? she go jump in
Ah, oh, Frago! Oh, it's weird and it's gross. And I don't like it. So let's see. Oh yeah, better range, better attack damage, and I fire three rounds instead of two. I'll take it. Can't get those bullets out of the old gun though, which is a really annoying part of this system. What we got up here. fun of any 90s PlayStation RPG, really. Item management. I think that loop is just so you can see where those item chests were before you walk forward. Girl, I saw the theater. Are you lost? Wait, little girl, don't go. gun has more DACA. All the DACA. I'm hung up on geometry. Ah, weird gross frog critters.
There's a switch and an emergency phone. Use the phone. Save hype! Switch. Eve. I'm playing this on PS1 or an emulator. I am playing this on a PS3. Um, I don't have a PS1, but I do have a disc copy of this. I, uh, I'm playing the digital version. Um, from PSN though and uh, I was gonna try emulation but I'm kind of notorious for like breaking things by trying to improve them and it's just best to take that out of my hands so I'll hold it right there my body my body's getting hot again yeah your body's been hot this whole time <laughs> Aya's ready to take me on just by herself well even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else. But you. You are... Tell me, Eve. Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. Eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. Going to give you some time. Some time to think. And some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. This makes my food got delivered was the deal with the mitochondria. That's a mystery to be resolved throughout the course of the game. Gaping dragon. There are two targets. Thanks, game. What happened? Parasite powers have evolved. Slow. Slows enemy AT reach and punch. And I got a Kevlar vest, which I think is actually the first time I've you. Alright, I'm knee 
deep in just sewage and a dress and heels. When I will awaken? Just tell me what you want, Eve. 